So here we are, Herne Hill. Herne Hill, yeah. Is this where, where it all started for you? Where it all started for me, only about 30 seconds away from where. <laughs> Very easy to get to. Easy meeting point for me. So this morning I've made the trip over to the other side of London, not the other side of London, South London. We are at Herne Hill and I'm with Fred Wright, one of uh, Barry McLaren's. I had to check that. I had to, yeah, yeah. I had to look to get that right. <laughs> new signings for 2020. Yes, that's right. New team. New team, new colours. Yeah. How does it feel being in such a it's a world tour team. It's, it's, a, it's know, a new it's a, for you, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit unreal, really. I kind of <laughs> still, still almost can't believe that I'm a, I can call myself a professional rider and let let, let alone a professional rider, a world tour rider. So yeah, that kit looks absolutely awesome. It's the McLaren Papaya. Yeah, <laughs> the amount of kit that we've got is a bit outrageous. Really, you got a good kit job, did you? Yeah, yeah. I think just, yeah. just spent when I got back, spent the part, spent about. An hour just stuffing, <laughs> stuffing kit into drawers that couldn't really fit all of them. It's a bit chilly this morning, isn't it? It is a bit. I've got got a few layers on. So I should, He's I should be alright. I've got even got a spare layer in my pocket as well. Have you really? Case. Yeah, yeah. Extra prepared. <laughs> so where are we heading out this morning, Fred? Um, I think I've got about three hours to do. So I reckon yeah. normally if I do three hours, just head into Kent, out to Old Eden Bridge, and then yeah. back. I know the roads enough that I, I'll just make it up. To go <laughs> <out>. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Let's, get, let's, let's get on with it. Yeah, let's go. I'll get right here. Taking us straight off the biggest hill in Crystal Palace. <laughs> yep. Straight up College Road. <laughs> right, have you yeah. overdressed a little bit today? Or are you, are you happy oh, with your you know kit what? selection? I'm alright. Yeah? I might have to take these gloves off at some point. She walked on by Look in her eyes, she was mystified This route is one of Fred's favourite rides. I'm hoping that he doesn't go too fast or that the route isn't too hilly because he's going well. With the season just around the corner and having just come back from a two week training camp with Mark Cavendish in Mallorca. I probably should have pointed, pointed out a bit earlier that corner. <laughs> <laughs> that van almost killed me. Yeah, it's all right, mate. It's all right, it's not your fault. <laughs> I forget you don't know the roads. Uh, was it cool? Medalstead. Medalstead. Medalstead Lane. It looks steep, Fred. Nah, it's not. <laughs> we're going down the steep bit. Okay. So we're going up this climb, Medalstead. Yes, Is, this, is <laughs> this the way you always come out? Um, yeah. You can go over the top and it's not really a climb, but I couldn't. I just said before, I wouldn't have wanted to come out and show you some new roads without going up Medalstead. Exactly. <laughs> it's nothing, mate. At least you get a lead up to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all about maximising the speed you get from the downhill before. about this way out is once you've done pedal stead it feels like you're going downhill break. <laughs> that's what we like. <laughs> that's what we like that's to do. What we like. So we're out in the lanes now. Yeah. What a beautiful day. Oh, couldn't have really picked a better day to go do some filming. Actually. I know. So what does it feel like being back in the UK? You've just spent a few weeks in Spain, have you? Yeah, yeah. So I was in Altea, which is just below Calpe for a couple of weeks and then, uh, then in Mallorca for a week. So I've had a good three or so weeks of sunny training but actually i've been treated nicely with the weather here yeah so far so far i think i'm gonna avoid anything bad <laughs> yeah, really nice we just had the most brutal headwind for the last couple of k and also Fred, this is my first ride out on this bike and now it's all muddy yeah i'm sorry <laughs> feeling a bit, feeling a bit sorry for you, fella. it's all right we can get over it yeah I was hoping I could just bring it out to Spain and it would be clean for the next two months. Like, yeah. Go back around and go to Edinburgh. Do you ride the team? Yes, I do. <laughs> nice to meet you, Chris. This is Fred Wright. 
Mark Cavendish's teammate. Yeah. Oh, because there is a whole note. There was in the in reading an article about Bahrain. A whole yeah. load of new Brits on the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm, I'm one of the new Brits. <laughs> we'll go back that way and then go. We'll make it up. <laughs> so it's a dead end. So we've hit a roadblock. No way through. We're gonna have to go and make up a different route, eh? Fred's favourite training ride is now <laughs> Fred's made up, made up, made up uh, training ride. <laughs> it'll add, it won't add too much on. Yeah. We'll, we'll be okay. Yeah. wondering what exactly the connection between me and Fred Wright is. Well, other than the fact we're two London local boys, Fred's new team, Barry and McLaren, is sponsored by Le Col, and it's our first step into the world tour scene with our clothing and hopefully it means I'll be able to bring you a lot more world tour content to this channel. On our way back now. So what's this climb? This is Ide Hill. This is Ide Hill? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably. I reckon it's probably the one I do the most on rides. Probably one of my favourites, really. It's beautiful, isn't it? You've got the nice view at the top, as well as a calf where many a bonk has been prevented. <laughs> I could have gone over that way, but... Uh, nah, nah, I won't go this way. This way's flatter, is it? No, nah, I'd say it's probably more hilly, but it's quicker, and we'll definitely get three hours in. Tell us, you're in the UK for a few days. What's coming up the next couple of weeks? Uh, so, on Friday, we're off to off to Bahrain first. With, oh, with the team, yeah. Should be ex should be exciting. And then and after, after that, that, we fly to Saudi Arabia. Mad to uh, do the Saudi tour. Saudi tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's, that's, that's the, the first, first race of the year, is it? First race starts on the fourth of Feb. And yeah. how are you? How are the sensations? How are you looking forward to getting stuck into racing? Yeah, I've, I've soaked up my three kind of three and a bit week block of training in Altair and Mallorca, better than expected. So I think I should be should be in a good place to get stuck into some lead outs, I reckon. Cam this riding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be... First lead out train. Yeah, yeah. I look really, I, I'm so excited, man. It should be good. <laughs> yeah. Steeper. It's a real, it's a steep one. But it's, You're gonna take it easy on me. <laughs> I think I'm just, I think I'll be taking it easy. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> So we're just on our way back into Crystal Palace now. Done a few of uh, Fred's favourite climbs. We're now going to go to my favourite part of the ride, which is the cafe. We're going to hit up four boroughs in uh, Crystal Palace. Here we go, almost back now. A battle, yeah. Battle off here, and I'm quite proud to say that I, uh, I've got the KOM from the, from them little traffic lights at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no KOMs are going to be getting broken today, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a standard three hour. That <laughs> nice. Well, thank you for taking me along with you. Made it back to the coffee shop. Yeah. He's on his second coffee. <laughs> Tell us, Fred, you're obviously you're part of this team. You're the youngest on the team. Not quite. Not quite. Santiago. Really? The Colombian kid is a few months younger than me. Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> How does it feel, obviously, growing up with someone like Cavendish as your, as your cycling hero? How is it suddenly, how is it having him on your team, right? It must be so, like fairly surreal. It is, yeah, to be, sort of to begin with, I was a bit like, oh, mate, look, look who it is. It's, it's, it's Mark Cavendish, but I mean, just like the last week I spent in New Yorker where it was just me, him, and the physio staying in an Airbnb and training or whatever, and it just kind of, it just sort of becomes normal. But it, it does feel a bit weird me just saying that hanging out with <laughs> Cav is, is normal. It's, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's someone I can really learn off. Learn from yeah. And yeah. It was a good, it was, we had really had a good, good week of training as well, so. Absolutely. So solid three hours and 15 minutes. But now we've had our cafe start rolling back down the hill. Okay, 
<laughs> back where we started this morning. Yeah, back um, back in Hill. Thank you so much for showing me your local roads. Yeah, it's, it's been a been a been a pleasure. I, I hope you in, hope you enjoyed the, the three hours and a little oh. bit of loop that we did. It was great. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Right, next time I see you, I want to bring you out to my Tony roads. Huh? Yeah, I I tend to not go over that sort of area, so I I would like to like to have a good look at. <laughs> yeah, we're, maybe we're after over. after a few of your classic races, we'll yeah, have a catch up. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know how those <laughs> races go. I think I'll be. I might be a bit of a shell next time you see me. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Well, until then, all the best with your upcoming races. Yeah, and, cheers, man. Um, it, was a, it was a pleasure. Yeah, enjoy. Thanks a lot, yeah. Right, that's the end of that one. Next time you see me, I'm going to be in sunny Spain. And you're going to be in Qatar? Where Saudi is it? Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. Same, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. See you.